Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. You know Ryan Seacrest? Right. The host of American Idol and America's Top 40 and the mm -hmm. host of everything, basically. Uh, you know, does that New Year's Eve thing. Who would ever do a New Year's Eve show? That's crazy talk. Yeah. So uh, Ryan li likes his iPhone 5, his 5S, but he misses his BlackBerry keyboard. So he somehow convinced a company to make a keyboard. It's called the Typo. Now, I know one person and one person only who loves the physical keyboard so much so that he he's barely given up his BlackBerry. His name is... Oh, here it is. His name is Steve Gibson. There's the typo. I gave it away, but you, you, you're giving it back already? No, no, no. We'll give it back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, we talked to Steve Gibson earlier today about his experience with Ryan Sequest's typo. That guy here, Steve Gibson, he is, as you know, the host of Security Now on the Twit Network. And he is also a keyboard aficionado. Steve, Steve joins us right now to give a review of the typo. It's for the 5 and the 5S, and it's actually a, uh, a case that includes a physical keyboard for the iPhone. You slide your iPhone in there. The keyboard lights up. You can type. Now, Steve, uh, Andy Yanako pointed out that typo is probably not the best name <laughs> for a keyboard, but we'll give him a pass on that one. What do you yeah. think of it? Um, okay, so I don't want to oversell it because there's absolutely trade-offs associated with it. I would say if you hate typing on a touchscreen as much as I do, then it's probably worthwhile. I think that based on the timing of its um, availability and the announcement relative to when the, the 5S phone came out, they probably designed it before the Apple 5 added the Touch ID. Yeah, cause because it, one it of covers the, it up, doesn't it? Yes, because yeah. because in order to make the overall size modest, that is the in, the increase in size, they cover up that whole lower region with the keyboard. Yeah, um, you know, I hail from loving my BlackBerry. Although now that I've switched over to the iOS, and because BlackBerry is just pretty much you know <laughs> given up the ghost. Um, I I really liked the BlackBerry keyboard. Um, they have, of course, Typo has has famously been sued by BlackBerry over how much the Typo people like the BlackBerry keyboard. As they say, uh, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And the BlackBerry benefits from more width on its keyboard, so you've got a little more space on the BlackBerry, but. Uh, I picked it up and was able to start using it immediately. I love the fact that the, that the keyboard has a backlight when, when it's dark. Um, I mean, I, I'm sold. For myself, this is what I want. I do miss that I don't have Touch ID, but so that's part of the trade-off. Also, um, the it, it charges separately. It uses Bluetooth LE um, in order to, to talk to the phone. So you have to have Bluetooth on all the time. Um, I haven't ever exhausted the battery because I, what I do is when I plug the iPhone in, I plug the keyboard in at the same time. So they're both charging. Um, and just overall, I mean, I, it is, I think, a, a tremendous experience if you're somebody who misses the, you know, misses your BlackBerry and and sort of wants the best of both worlds. It reminds um, me of the BlackBerry because these are the same kind of domed keys that the black well that, yeah has. it's got that sort of that 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 funky kind of sculpture where yeah. the ones on the right are like or sweep to the right and the ones on the left sweep to the right to the right. left i mean it is absolutely the case that they stole the design from blackberry <laughs> the, no they did the courts the courts will have to decide if that was a bad thing or not if if there was actually anything that blackberry could protect and i wouldn't mind if blackberry made a keyboard as long as somebody does. I mean, I got a bunch of them because I didn't want to ever be without them. They're very much like my Well, and that's pilots. another uh, cause for concern. Uh, we talked to Renee Ritchie, uh, Andy Anako, both of whom received them at CES, but they were prototypes, we should say, and they've gone yeah. through quite a few. They've broken, I think, uh, I more broke eight of them. But yours has been, have you been using it pretty steadily since you got it last week? Yeah, I have, but I had no problems. Good. Okay. 
You have yeah. to, you know, uh, there is another issue. I know you may never use this, but normally on iOS 7, you swipe up from the bottom to get, and you can't on with this thing on. Oh, I did, yes, but it was I, with great uh, difficulty. Yeah, I did. I've had, the, I've had the same problem. I'm glad you yeah, mentioned that because yeah. it's difficult to get down, started down as close as you need to. <laughs> there is a there is a keyboard button on the keyboard. A home button. Which, well, no, there's a oh, home there's button, a but there's button. also a keyboard button. Yeah. You hold that down for four seconds in order to, to manually turn off the Bluetooth uh, to save the battery if you okay. wish. Um, but if you, if you press it normally, then it... it it requests the Apple keyboard to come up that allows you to get to, this, to all the extra special characters and emojis and, and international keyboard and other things that you may you may have on your uh, traditional keyboard. You know, I don't think I'm going back. I'm, I'm really? liking, I am much faster and much more accurate on this than I was, you know, so sort of painfully typing characters on the on the Apple keyboard. So I think I'm a convert. I don't want to oversell it though, because I would say unless you you are giving up a lot of things, you can't use your own case. It is a case. Right. So you lose any, you know, case that you might have been in love with. If you used like the one I was in love instance, with. Yeah, or a battery. Yeah. 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 So we usually do on before you buy pros and cons. Um, I'm gonna give you one pro. It's backlit so you can use it in the dark. That's kind of cool. That is nice. Of it's, course, the 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 natural keyboard is backlit too. Yeah, well, I guess so. It's always <laughs> on. It, the it also uh, it's a physical keyboard, and if you're a physical keyboard fan, this is, to my knowledge, the only way you can have one actually on the iPhone. Right. Um, it is a little larger. Uh, it takes over your case. Those two would be cons. Uh, you do have to charge it up separately, so you have yep. you have a battery uh, issue uh, with it. Uh, and we're not sure about reliability, but it may be these pro those are prototypes. Maybe these production devices are a little bit uh, yeah. more reliable. If they all die, I'll, switch, I'll, I'll go back, but I'll probably use it until then. And you paid how much? 70 bucks? Mm, no, I think it's $100. It's Ooh. 99 yeah, and they're now saying that they're no, they're not able to provide them as quickly as they wanted due to the demand and backlog. I don't know what their production they capabilities are. Sold out. New orders yeah. shipping mid March. Yeah. Uh, so it's typo uh, keyboards dot com, ninety nine dollars as you said, and so then the next only one thing remains, Steve. We always decide. We always announce. Is it a buy, a try, or a don't buy? Oh, I think it's so much a function of who you are. So we're going to say I really do. Try, if, if, right? if, yeah, if you hate the if you hate typing on a touch screen, this right. really does work. Steve Gibson, he's the host, the man in charge. We call him the explainer in chief of Security Now each and every Tuesday 11, I'm sorry, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, that's 2100 UTC on twit.tv.